What's up? Jackson Wilkie with the original Living in Portland, Oregon team. Today, I'm going to take you through Portland, Oregon's number one neighborhood community, master plan community, and it ain't even close. So what we want to do first is take you outside and show you what it looks like in this area and let our team lead, Heather, tell you all about it. Not just Nike and Intel, but I don't know if you guys know this, but one of the things that we are considered here in Hillsboro is the Silicon Forest. We have a lot of tech companies bringing jobs here, bringing people to the area. This is one of those areas that has really appreciated and is keeping its value and it's still going up. So this is one of the most appreciating areas in all of the entire Portland Metro. One of the only areas is Ridgefield, which is up in Vancouver. But as for Portland, this place is blowing up. But you might not have an idea of where we're talking about. So what I want to do is just pull up the map and explain this area because it's very advantageous for a lot of people moving and relocating here for a few reasons. Here is Portland, Oregon. A lot of people aren't moving, relocating there. They're typically either choosing the east side or the west side and anybody that's thinking about the west side they fall in love with this area so you have beaverton this is one of the most popular areas and just out to the west you have aloha and then all the way out here is hillsboro now when you look online reed's crossing is going to be in hillsboro and you'll look at this and be like man that's quite a ways out there well if we actually zoom in it's it's a little bit closer to uh, aloha than it is anything this main road out here is called or what we say the TV highway, but it's the Tualatin Valley Highway. You'll hear people say the TV highway a lot. So it's that Highway 8, whatever you want to call it. But right out of Beaverton, it's going to take you through Aloha and all the way through Hillsboro and then out to Cornelius and Forest Grove. It's one of the main roads and just south of it, next to one of the most beautiful golf courses, this is actually a course I love playing, is Reed's Crossing. So you can see that it's actually quite a bit closer in to, you know, the 217 and really close to the 26 to the, get you out to the Oregon coast or downtown quickly. The cool thing about this is as well, you have Intel right next door and you have Nike, the headquarters right in here too, just minutes away. So if you look on the map, you're, you're actually closer into uh, the Aloha area than you are Hillsboro. Now, one of the things about Portland, Oregon is you're not typically going to run into a lot of master plan communities. They may advertise that online and there are quite a few that do have neighborhood pools and parks and that kind of thing but this is an area where you're going to get that sense of community and everything that's been built out this way just in the last two three years alone is erupting and that's what people really like when you move here you got to be close to a lot of things you want to be able to get out and meet people you want to go out and have a lot of fun well the good thing about this you're really close to a bunch of nature and trails and hiking and then just into the east you have cedar hills crossing so this has bowling alleys all new shops and restaurants and bars actually some of our favorite restaurants are right there and that's just minutes away but you're probably thinking well it might be too expensive for me or there's nothing available that's what we got to show you next so up on the map here, I'm going to actually go in and show you where it is on the map and then what's available. So again, if we do a zoom out view, uh, we have, you know, Aloha right here. It's going to be right inside of here. And what you can look at is 209th Avenue right here. So 209. Uh, we're going to be just out here to the west. So it's this area here. And here's what's crazy. If you look at the solds for the past, you know, year or so, <laughs> this is one of the most purchased areas that you will find uh, in all of the Portland Metro. People are really, really liking it, but there is a lot of availability left. And as you can see, you know, starting in that mid 400 range, you can really get into, you know, your starter home. So a lot of those are going to be more of like your town home, whereas you have the single family homes starting more in like the upper sixes, sevens and, and 800,000. So but what they do is a very modern and, and big floor plan for like these duplexes here. So this is actually what I started out with and it, with my family here of, of three kids and we did just fine in it. So these are actually a little bit bigger and, and way nicer than I started. But here's a single family home now starting in the 600s. So this is the website for the development online. And I will tell you one thing, it can really be misleading on there a lot of times. That's why leveraging, you know, the number one relocation team here, we've helped over 200 clients move and relocate. We know every builder and sales rep, it costs you this much more money, zero dollars, to have our representation and to really negotiate closing costs, anything additional. But we can tell you what's actually available and can fit your budget 
or maybe there's an area outside of this that would fit you even better. So that's the number in our email right there. You've got to reach out to us and schedule your one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with our team so that we can help you find the perfect spot. Now, what I wanted to do was just kind of go through a little bit more of the styles of homes that you're gonna see in here. So again, it's gonna be, there's a lot of the duplex and even the fourplex here, but you do start having a lot of single family homes. And if you wanna stretch that budget, we've had quite a few clients come in, maybe from California, and they can get into more of like that 800 to you know a million dollar home. They actually have that, and you can start seeing what you get for a million dollars in this neighborhood, and, and you're gonna get a really big new construction home with the big patio. And it's really cool because this neighborhood, walking through it, we've been through it a bunch of times and helping with clients, it is the biggest sense of community. So you're gonna be kicked back here, you got the brewskis or the wine, because you're right next to all the wine country and wineries, and you can see all these paths and people walking by and kids on their scooters and bikes and it's just it's a really inviting friendly area and brand new schools in this area as well so you're going to get a massive open floor plan super modern house you know starting in that 800 to you know upwards of a million dollars and if we take you into kind of a typical four bedroom two and a half bathroom house this is going to be quite a bit bigger of a home as well you're going to see that you'll have these big open floor plans again you're going to have the big modern kitchen cooking area and usually you know a lot of the portland houses you're going to have a ton of the rooms upstairs as well some of these have master on mains some don't but a lot of the main bedrooms and everything you'll have that upstairs for that and as you can see you can have one of the extra bedrooms here for your peloton uh where it must be a nike employee right there looking out seeing everybody walk around and enjoy the beautiful portland weather if it ain't raining <laughs> now the next thing that i want to show you is the availability we you know there's tons of homes available in all these sections around here so this is again an area where you can actually get into and there's there's lots that are still on the dirt so if you're six nine months out you can start this process from the beginning and then they do have a lot of homes done that are like a spec home that you can get into if you're moving here very quickly and again these are things that we help clients do every single day we're very well versed in it so you do have a lot of availability in this nice new construction area now talking to past clients and just knowing the area one other thing that people really enjoy about reed's crossing is not its location or where it's at but the equity that they're building so we've had a lot of first-time home buyers even come here they buy that first three bed two bath condo and within just a year or two they've got so much equity built up that they can step up into that single family home maybe they have a kid or whatever and again maybe you start with that single family and you move up to uh, the next style home so this area here has one of the fastest growing appreciation that you will see in the portland metro so it's a great investment area not only for people moving here but any of you possible investors looking to invest here and reeds crossing might not be the area that you are focusing on or want to be in so what i did is the most informed a video it's right here on the top 10 best suburbs to live in portland oregon brand new rankings everything you need to know so go click that video right there